Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am filming my 2020 Christmas wishlist video. And I know, I know everybody is watching this right now and being like, Annie, why in the heck are you filming this in October? Well, with the pandemic and everything, we got a notification from our local postage service that basically said, if you want any hope of your online packages getting here for Christmas, you better have all of your orders in by Black Friday, which is not that far away at all. So I decided decided to make my list early and get it out to everybody early and figured with that why not film this video early and get it out to you guys earlier. And also I've seen a bunch of these videos on YouTube already filmed like three weeks ago or a month ago so I feel a little less crazy. But that is basically the explanation behind why I'm filming this video literally in October. But I hope that regardless of that fact you guys still enjoy this, maybe get an idea or two from it. And also comment down below something that is on your wish list because maybe somebody can look through the comments and get some ideas for their own list. So y'all know how this works. I have my phone here with my list, everything written out on my list. This is not in any particular order, not of like what I want more or what costs more, whatever like that, just an order of how I thought of things and wrote them down. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right on started. So the first thing on my list is like that one thing everybody puts on their list that they're probably not going to get, but they put it there regardless. And for me this year, that is a piano. So if you guys didn't know, I actually do play piano I've been playing since I was probably about like 12 or 13 years old but we never actually had a piano in our house because we come from a middle-class family and that's not something somebody like us can really afford so I've had this like best buy toy keyboard thing that kind of sounds like a piano since then and I just want something now that looks feels and sounds like a piano so I put that on my list even if I don't get it maybe I can have a little bit of money towards it so I can get it for myself but that is the thing on my list that I have that I probably won't get but that is there anyway. So then the next thing on my list is this super super cute PJ set I found on Amazon. So I really don't have any sort of like real PJs. I mostly sleep in like athletic shorts or sweatpants and sports bras. I don't really have any real PJs. So I found this super super cute set on Amazon that has like a white tank top that says let's avo cuddle with like avocados on it and a pair of like silk bed shorts with like little avocados all over it and I thought that was the cutest thing and it looks ridiculously comfortable. So I put that on my list as well so I can maybe finally have a pair of real pajamas. So then the next thing on my list is super super basic. Everybody has this on their list this year but it is those like bliss light sky light type of light boxes. So basically it is a projector that you turn on in your room at night and it puts like a galaxy type of thing on your ceiling and your walls and since I already have the LED light strip around my uh, window I think it would look super cute and aesthetic together. I don't know it looks super like calming and like aesthetic or whatever so I put that on the list as well because I think that would just be really cool and relaxing. So then the next thing on my list are collegiate sweaters. If you know anything about my taste in fashion and or clothes you know I'm obsessed with collegiate sweaters. In fact I'm literally like wearing one right now. I wear them literally all the freaking time. It's like my favorite thing to wear. So not that I have any like one specific one in mind but I just love collegiate sweaters. I have a ridiculously gigantic collection of them and I'm always looking for more. So if anybody shopping for me for Christmas lands on them, I want those too. Okay, so then something else that is super basic I've been obsessed with lately and really, really wanting to get is one of those like hair waver things. So it is basically a type of like a curler or straightening type of iron where it basically has like three different heads and when you like clip it into your hair, you leave it for like three or four seconds and when you release it, it gives you like beach waves in your hair because beach waves take a lot of effort to actually put into your hair and this is so effortless list and they're actually so much less expensive than I thought they would be. So I put that on my list as well because I really want one. It's not that expensive so hopefully it's affordable for people and I really want one. So then to also go with that is the Revlon One Step Dryer. This is like a game changer. If you have like very little time to work on your hair in the morning, you basically take your shower and then use this thing and it both dries and volumizes your hair all at once. So it gives it that nice like blowout look to your hair but you don't actually have to put in the effort of like blow drying your hair and then curling your hair or whatever is literally a one step blowout dryer. And that also is super, super inexpensive and like I really, really want it. So that is on my list as well. So then something else I've had my eye on for a while and never pulled the trigger on is an oil diffuser. So I am all into the whole like essential oils thing. I love candles that have essential oils, but I've never pulled the plug on a diffuser. And I just decided in the last few weeks that I like really, really want one. So I put that on my list as well. But even if I don't get 
get it for Christmas, I'll probably buy it for myself in the new year because I really, really want one. And then to go with that are some essential oils as well, especially ones of like lavender or chamomile, like my absolute favorite scents. So those are also on my list. So then on my list is a UV gel nail light. So I love doing like home nail care. I don't like dropping obscene amounts of money on nail salons or getting your nails done because it's literally like 80 or $90 for absolutely no reason. So I like buying nail polish sets and doing them myself, but there's this super, super cool UV light where you basically put gel nail polish on your nails and then put your hand in these like UV light dryer things and it makes your nails look like salon quality gel nails and it looks so freaking cool and it's so inexpensive. So that is also on my list so I can make my nails look super high nail salon quality but not spend 10 bajillion dollars on it. So then also on my list, I have literally any type of workout clothes. So athletic shorts, athletic leggings, athletic joggers, like literally any type of workout clothes. That is what I've been literally living in lately aside from my sweatshirts. I love athletic clothing. It's so comfortable and it's like sweat proof and it works really great for workouts obviously. So yeah, since I've gotten a lot more into fitness since the new year, I have a lot more athletic wear on my wish list. So then something else I also have is either a bathrobe or kimono because the last bathrobe I had, I think I was literally like nine or 10 years old and I have not had one since. And my mom is like really, really good at shopping for that stuff. So if I have that on my list, I'm pretty sure she'd get like a really, really good one. So I put that on my list as well to see if maybe my mom could find something better than what I could find. So then also on my list are some bralettes. Fun fact, I don't wear bras. I only wear bralettes. If you're a girl watching this, you totally feel me. Bras are just not comfortable and bralettes are like so freaking comfortable. So I basically got rid of all my bras and I've been only living in bralettes. So because I mean, I don't have that many of them, I kind of want to get some more so I have enough to like last the entire week. But yeah, bralettes are always on my list at any point of the year because I'm just obsessed with them. Then very similarly also have some sports bras on my list because those are also really comfortable for like I said, sleeping in and also obviously for workouts. But yeah, like I said, besides bralettes, sports bras are the only thing I wear. So I want to stock up on some more. So then also on my list are some black combat boots or other types of combat boots. So long story short, a few years ago on Black Friday, I got this pair of combat boots from Arden. They looked like the perfect knockoff of Doc Martens and they were super high quality, got me through like four or five different falls and winters. And then last year finally hit their quota and they fell apart. And I missed them like crazy, especially that we're now into the fall and winter season and I don't have them. So I have those on my list in case somebody wants to have pity on me and get me my combat boots. Okay, so this next thing I've been obsessed with lately and really, really wanting, which are these like scrunchy Apple Watch bands. So I do have a Apple Watch. I got an Apple Watch for myself at the beginning of the pandemic, but I learned recently that the straps of the Apple band are not comfortable. The like rubber and whatever digs into your skin, leaves these uncomfortable marks, no matter how loose you make it, it's just not comfortable. So one of my friends has one of these super cute Cute, like scrunchy style Apple Watch bands and it looks like the most comfortable thing ever. So I immediately went on to Amazon and found a bajillion of these and they're super, super affordable. So I figured maybe I can get a couple of those in like my stocking or something because they're literally the cutest thing and look so comfortable. So then next on my list, if you know me well enough, you know my favorite female person on the face of the earth is JLo. And JLo actually just came out with a new perfume earlier this year called Promise and apparently it smells so freaking amazing. And I pretty much get a body spray and or a perfume in my stocking pretty much every single year. So for this year's body spray and or perfume, this is what I want to get. Okay, so then something else I've been obsessed with this year are goalie gummies. They're basically these apple cider vinegar gummies. You take two of them a day and it's like basically taking a shot of apple cider vinegar every day, but they taste so much better and they have all these incredible like effects to them. And they've made a world of difference on how like fresh and clean my body feels, but they're like not the most inexpensive, affordable thing. So I was thinking maybe for Christmas this year, somebody can help me pay for the three or five month supply and maybe help me to take the cost away from myself. So yeah, that is also on my list for this year. So then also on my list are organic candles. So I've been a Bath & Body Works candle lover pretty much my entire life since they first came to Canada, but I have learned recently that Bath & Body Works candles has a bunch of stuff in the wax that is inorganic and not very good for you to be inhaling. So I got rid of all of my Bath & Body Works candles and I started buying a whole bunch of organic candles from Indigo. But 
but even though they smell amazing and last a really long time, they're not very cheap. So I put those on my list too, so maybe somebody can help me out and get me one or two new organic candles because I love them and they smell good and they last forever and they're like good for your health, but again, they're not very cheap. So then also on my list is a fake Apple Pencil. I do not need the like $100 Apple Pencil. A knockoff will do just fine, but I just want something I can use to draw on like thumbnails and graphics and stuff on the iPad or my phone or stuff like that to make more like social media graphics and thumbnails and just have the whole like handwritten vibe to it. I just think that'd be really fun to learn and mess around with. But again, I don't need the like $100 real like Apple Pencil. I can get a knockoff on Amazon for like 10, 15, 20 bucks. So that is also on my list. So then I mentioned this to my mom probably about a month ago. I need new weights because the weights I currently use are completely made of rubber and give me the worst calluses on my hands when I use them. And it's so freaking sore for like weeks on end. And also the weights I use are five pounds each. And because I've been using them for like six or seven months now, I'm getting too used to the weight. So it's not like a challenge anymore. So I found a pair of weights from Canadian Tire that are basically like metal weights that have like non-rubber grips on them. So it's like much better to handle and use and don't get like weird calluses on your hands. And these are 10 pounds each. So 20 pounds together and much more of a challenge than the ones I'm currently using. So that is something else I'm asking for this year. So then also for practicality reasons this year, I'm asking for for a pillow basket because I have a whole like collection of pillows on my bed, but they're only on my bed during the day. During the night, I take them off my bed while I'm sleeping and I have to like stack them up on my desk chair. And throughout the night, they like fall off and like fall on the floor and gather dust and get all dirty, which of course is not good for you to be inhaling when your head is on your pillows. So I want to get a pillow basket to put all my pillows in at night to keep them from falling on the floor and getting dirty and gathering dust and all of that. So that is also on my list. So then funny little story, something else I'm asking for is this super awesome laptop stand on Amazon. So I actually got this last year for Christmas and I loved it. But then I started getting to the habit of editing videos and working on my computer in bed. So I was no longer really using it. And then towards the beginning of the year, my mom started actually working from home because of the pandemic and she did not have one. So because I wasn't using mine and she needed one, I basically gave her the stand I was using. But now that I'm getting more into being a mature adult and working at my desk instead of in bed, now I find myself in need of one. So I put the stand back on my list in hopes of getting one of my own so my mom can keep the one I gave her and I can have one of my own so we are both comfortable. And then the very last thing on my list is the Pandora Polished Wishbone Ring. So I basically have two rings on my hands at all times. This is the ring my parents got me for my 21st birthday and on this hand up till now, I have been wearing the Pandora princess ring since my 16th birthday because my parents got me the princess ring for my 16th birthday. However, a few nights ago, it broke. The back of it just like snapped off and is just like irreparable at this point. And I still don't know what happened because with all the weight I lost, it's been super loose on my finger and like there was no reason for it to break. But point of the story is it's broken now. I can't wear it anymore. And I have a naked finger for the first time since I was 16 years old. So for Christmas, my mom basically told me to find a Pandora ring I really like and they will try to replace it if it's affordable and get me a new ring for this hand. So the one I chose is the Pandora Polished Wishbone Ring. I think it is the cutest, simplest thing. I love very like simple, minimal silver jewelry. So that is the ring that I chose and I really, really like it. So that you guys is everything on my 2020 Christmas wish list. Hopefully this gave you at least one or two ideas or gave you some inspiration for ideas of your own for your own Christmas wish list. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.